Naturalization of Humans and Humanization of Nature Technology helps human beings to interact with their physical environment. What human beings produce and create is not that important as it is more important with the help of what tools and techniques do they produce and create. Human beings were able to develop technology after they developed better understanding of natural laws. Knowledge about nature is extremely important to develop technology and technology loosens the shackles of environment on human beings. In the early stages, humans were greatly influenced with their natural environment and adapted to dictates of nature. This type of interaction between primitive human society and strong forces of nature was termed as environmental determinism. At that stage, human listened to nature and worshipped it. With the development of society and culture, humans developed better and more efficient technology. They moved from a state of necessity to a state of freedom. They created possibilities with the resources obtained from the environment. The imprints of human activities can be easily seen everywhere. Huge urban settlements agricultural fields, orchards and pastures in plains and sloping hills, oceanic routes on the oceanic surface and satellites in the space. This was termed as possibilism by the earlier scholars. Now here is another example which will explain the impact of humans over the environment. Can you imagine what has made such a lifestyle possible? Yes. This is technology that has allowed the people of Trondheim and others to overcome the constraints of the nature. We may get many examples where humans have harnessed the nature for their own benefit. Griffith Taylor, a geographer, has introduced another concept which reflects a middle path or center path between the two ideas of environmental determinism and possibilism. He termed it as Neo-determinism or stop and go determinism. Neither is there a situation of absolute necessity or environmental determinism, nor is there a condition of absolute freedom or possibilism. Nature can be conquered by obeying it by the human beings.